Hello and welcome back to Good Storms Games and my floating jar of dirt. Today we're going to talk about a weird little mechanic that might be a little bit cheesy. A little bit of buoyancy cheese. So, it took me a lot of testing to figure this out, but I was looking for blocks that would theoretically not take up space inside a void with your air pumps, such as helium pumps. I love making airships. And sorry for my voice, it's kind of cracking. Kind of sick. So, here's a, here's our little helium pump. It's going to run. It's going to make it float a little bit more. And if we want to make it float less, we could throw, say, a couple chunks of light alloy in here. This is 3i, so let's throw this in. Our jar, jar of dirt sinks a little bit. So, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit lower the pumps you know just below the water line so its buoyancy has gone down remove all of these and it's the helium pumps just above the water line it's just bobbing happily just slightly above the water line like so now i'm going to get these little alloy bulkheads and you'll see again as I throw all these down and fill up the space with these and we're gonna have to use an alloy armored hatch here it again is sitting below the water line the little pump now here's for the fun part we go in here and we start opening up some doors Come on, open door. Open says me. Are they all open yet? It's happily bobbing above the water line again. Now, the fun part about these doors is that they also have a buoyancy. So, if we take some lead and we stick them all down here, it's going to sink just below. Now, if we close all of these, it's going to act like the alloy blocks again. Close all these. Close them all. Close, 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 and close. And did we get that one? And this one? There we go. They're all closed. And now you can see it's sunk a lot more. Those open doors add a lot of buoyancy when you have an air pump. So if you ever need to fill a void and you want to get some extra buoyancy underwater, I definitely suggest using some bulkhead doors. Or, you know, the hatches. Can AC ACB so whenever it spawns in, it opens up all the doors. And here you go, you can have your nice heavy metal crafts floating just a little bit better and a bit more durable by having some doors open up in your voids. Pretty straightforward little tutorial. I was going to have a bunch more objects because, you know, what, you know, what objects leak, right? That's the other thing. Most blocks don't leak in from the depths. You can use applique panels, say, throw an applique panel in like that. This pump, still good. Pump? Uh, can I, let, let's just remove these for a second here. We don't really need those. Whoops. I'm gonna remove these doors so I can actually see what's going on. Just a regular block. Do I have to get a build mode? I have to get a build mode. Is that what's going on? Oh! And I should also fill up that space with the glass. Apologies. Okay. Get a build mode. What is going on? OK. 
Okay, air pump. It's supposed to show me its stats. It's not showing me its stats. I, don't, I am quite turbed by that. Hey, air pump. Air pump. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the HUD this entire time. Anyways, the helium pump here, you can see. The the, the volume, the, cu the cubic volume underwater. There's also the overwater buoyancy. But if this was fully underwater, let's make it fully underwater. Let's sink our jar of sand here. A little bit of lead. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Is it sink sunk yet? Did I sink it yet? There we go. We sunk it. 27 cubic meters underwater. And as it says, there's no leaks. If you take this, whoops, we get rid of this block. It's now flooded. It's flooding. It's leaking. Let's put some other block that looks like it would leak. Let's say a wing. Let's just throw a wing in here. Oh, it's not flooded. It's now completely unflooded. Perfect. Let's find some parts that do leak. Oh, let's, let's use this signal jammer. Does it leak? Let's play Let's just Leak. Will it leak? No, it doesn't leak. Let's play Let's Leak with a different thing. Railings. Oh, let's put a railing in. Does it leak? No, it doesn't leak. Is it leaking? Uh-oh, the pump is glitched out. Okay, I know these things leak. So let's go into air. This is why building doesn't always work. So you have to bring things in and out of stuff. There we go. Now it's flooded. See? It it leaks. Whoa. Let's go on to another decoration. What else leaks? Does normal stairs leak? No, they don't leak. Wow. How about these stairs? Okay, I know these stairs leak. So give me the air. Silly thing. See, it's flooded. It leaks. Uh, what else leaks? Do small chains leak? I don't know. Let's test it out. Wow, a small chains leak. Anyways, a lot of the decorations leak for some reason. A lot of other things that look like they would leak do not leak. Uh, what's what's a fun one? What's a fun one? Uh, let's see here. Oh, sub-objects. Sub-objects. Those leak for sure. They they can't seal up anything, so. <laughs> Don't have to worry about those. Oh no, where did my jar of dirt go? There we go. There's my jar of dirt. I own a jar of dirt. So happy. Anyways, but yeah. Hopefully that helps you guys with your builds and gives you a little extra information for your voids, things like that. Super helpful when you have a helium-filled vessel, a, a blimp, a dirigible. These things become very important because you'd be like, oh, I could just put a bunch of stairs here and then all of a sudden your, your whole thing is just not flying anymore. It's goofy stuff like that that gets you killed. And I hope it really definitely helps. And I'll just, you know, get this little bit of cheese hammered home for you guys. Where's those doors? Decorations, doors, alloy bulkhead doors. Let's get our extra, extra cheesy floatiness back in here. Na -na 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 -na. Extra cheesy. Oh yeah. It's a cheese supreme. Floating jar of dirt. And and then it. That, that, that. And, oops. That. Perfect. Oh, I forgot to open that door. There we go. They're all open. It, our floating jar of dirt is still sinking. Still sinking. Oh, yeah. Is it floating now? Still sinking? Slowly. Uh, but now. Still singing? Alright. Oh, oh, we're floating. We're floating. We're floating with all this much lead. 
this much lead. It's quite a lot of lead to be floating with. So that's basically a three by three space can float a three by three space of lead, or we look at the blocks. So lead weighs 200 and heavy armor weighs 200. So with this little bit of cheese, you can float a three by three amount of heavy armor with the equivalent amount of floaty space, pretty much. Not a hundred percent because yes, there is extra flotation here. There is some alloy up here. So there's not really a buoyant, buoyancy neutral block. Actually, if we replace all this with some rocks, will it still be floating? It's a really good question. Oh wow, that, that was really floating. Oh, I pressed the caps lock button. Whoops. All right, is it floating? It's still barely floating. We're gonna keep throwing some stone down. And here we go. Let's see. Boom. I'm gonna throw that down. So there's already three blocks of lead in there, plus all of this, which all is negative. Buoyancy. So we're going to remove a bit of lead at a time. There's three gone. Oh. And I think we're still moving down. Let's remove another one. And another one. We're moving up yet. Is the pump working? Pump. Yes. 27 cubic meters. All right. So 400 meters of underwater buoyancy, or 40 meters cubed, which is open space. It's thir plus 37. So you know, that's plus 37. Uh, 40 times 37. And you do the math. That's how much the air floats. But also the doors float. So, oh, I closed the door. Open the door. Keep the door open. We want to float. Okay, we need one more block. One more block here. Come on, up we go, up we go. We're going up yet. Okay, let's just remove all of these blocks and see if it floats up. There we go, we're floating up. Now, if we take those blocks again, we're going to add them back on. Let's add one on. And we're still floating up. Because our altitude is going up. And that's about neutral. Oh, no, no, that's a little bit sinking. So, you could do, with the 3x3 three three space, you can do at least, uh, what is that? That's 9, 12, 14 blocks. Yeah, you can have 14 blocks of heavy armor. 14 blocks of heavy armor per 9x9 nine nine square of helium filled alloy doors open. Your underwater buoyancy is amazing. Now, this doesn't work over water, of course. Over water, you don't get any added buoyancy from the doors. The doors. The buoyancy only works in water and not above water, of course. So for heal for your airships, you're always going to want to use open space more so than open doors, unless you need to make your airship super durable. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little jar of dirt tutorial. Have a good day. Good Storms Games out.